Hello, hello Leo and welcome to your reading with me Jackie here on Romany Tarot. Um, I just wanted to start by saying um, for some of you, for some of you there's a situation happening here where you're being watched. Um, I won't get a uh, well, so I wouldn't get scared or you know don't get alarmed about it but you're being watched in some way someone's keeping a close eye on you now this could be in a in a positive or a negative respect you know whatever it is for you but anyway let's get on with the reading and see what we have for you Leo uh, and this will be for September 2022 so first of all we're going to start with this uh, Venus card for you so we do have um, Venus enters Leo on the 5th of September and uh, you can't see because the writing's back to front for you on this camera okay so we do have this energy like someone who they can feel proud of loves being around successful people in love this energy waits to express waits for you to express your feelings first and then they express theirs so that's the general light Leo in Venus, you know, just something they say there about that. Um, yeah, so I do feel for you, Leo, you do like people that you like to look up to in some way. You know, people can make a pretty uh, good impression on you, um, especially if they're skilled and they're, they're talented and they're good in some way. So, yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so the first card um, that come out for you in the uh, Black Moon Astrology cards is Sagittarius, I see, that says on there. So this card is about um, hitting targets, being, you know, especially light on your work and that, of course. So it's about hitting targets, be careful of squandering money, you know, don't take too many risks. And your freedom. Uh, a very you know valuing your freedom and not being restricted in some way so you don't like being restricted or told what to do leo okay so you want to know with this energy you want to know where you stand or you you want to know where you stand in the situation uh in love you expect to have that just that extra space and of course to move as i say more freely Okay, also with this card, I feel um, that um, animals, I say that animals might be a big part of your life as well for some of you. So some of you are really uh, passionate about animals in some way. And it's also about taking a gamble and lucky breaks. So, um, yeah, <laughs> good energy here as uh, coming through at the moment, ready to expand. But there's something here about your reading where there's hidden motives and we want to know what's behind it all or what's behind it all here for you leo so there's some sort of hidden motives with somebody else or even yourself um yeah so i do feel because uh when just now i pulled uh at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of swords and the queen of swords so we have a couple here um, for some of you that are a, a, relation, a relationship or a partnership in some way. So someone is uh, keeping an eye on you in some way. And someone's about to sort of uh, take action or rush forward towards you or them towards you. Some of you could be dealing with, because we do have this, um, this My Little One May deck. We do have this Neptune card, number seven. And uh, of course, this is uh, Neptune. So we could be dealing with a Pisces. Uh, this card also says intelligent, original, loner, analytical, observant, and someone seeking the truth in a situation. That really stands out to me with this card. So I think someone is going to confront you in some way and they want you to be straight with them or they want you to uh, tell them the truth in the situation that you may be in at the moment. Okay, this is going to be for some of you. As I say, it's not going to be for everyone. So, you know, it's a general reading and it's just for the collective. So, you know, you just take what you can from that, Leo, and see where that fits for you. Okey-doke. Let's move on. 
So this theme that I'm talking about, it does continue here because you have the well, well, the well card here. And that's the well. So it's about being centered. It's looking deeper, uh, draining resources. So I said to you, be careful about squandering uh, your money or even your opportunity. Don't squander an opportunity that you have here. So it's about um, hitting, you know, it can be about hitting rock bottom. So be careful what you wish for. The only way is up. I mean, these are all things that we can look at with the well. Hard work still needed. Stay connected. Okay. And balanced, as I said. And stay balanced with that card. Yeah, so I do feel someone, as I said, someone's uh, looking deeper into you or maybe looking at you and you don't sort of realise or don't suspect anything at the uh, as yet, as I said, positive or negative. I'm, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this, but I do feel, um, not to put a dampener on things, Leo, but I do feel that someone is about to confront you about something, they have something to say to you, because at the bottom of the deck, I did... When these cards come over, I did need to uh, sort of question, you know, why, you know, why these um, cards come over. So, I, of course, the first card that come over was the um, Knight of Swords. And then we, and then, at, at the bottom, sorry, uh, yeah, this one come over. This is at the bottom of the deck. So we do have a pair in here so someone is older than the other person so we have someone older or younger possibly doesn't have to be but you know it can be and at the bottom of there we have the uh high priestess which makes me feel that someone's got a feeling about that whether this is you or the other person remember energies can be vice versa but somebody has a feeling about something their intuition is telling them that something may be not right or in a situation, you know, so, you know, just uh, take, you know, just keep that in mind, Leo, what's what's happening here. Because at the bottom of that card, we do have the um, five of cups. So someone is feeling a little bit disappointed here in something. So you could, uh, you or the person could have some regrets because right under that card, this is the last part card I'm going to pull on this, this deck because I, I just wanted to know what this energy was about. And now we've got the, the uh, King of Swords coming up. So someone's not very happy. When you look at that King of Swords, you know, he don't look very happy at all. You know, he looks quite, um, quite threatening, really. So, you know, just, um, just take that on board and keep that in mind. And, and just be careful, you know, just be cautious of what you're doing. You know, don't um, don't sabotage, don't self-sabotage yourself. Don't sab self-sabotage um, not only yourself, but also an opportunity that maybe you're in. And um, <clears throat> I mean, I, I can honestly say uh, around that time, you know, that sort of Venus in Leo on the 5th of um, September, I just be careful, you know, just be very careful, especially, <laughs> especially if, um, I mean, I really don't want to say it, but um, especially for some of you, uh, it doesn't matter male or female, you know, if some of you are like um, seeking attention, I'd say seeking attention elsewhere when you're actually with someone, I mean, that's the way I'm going to put it. Um, that would be for some of you, but for others of you, you know, it might be, you know, it's vice versa, you know, maybe you're suspicious about somebody you're with. So, yeah, just um, just keep your eyes open there, Leo. You know, just uh, just be cautious of that, you know, be, be aware, be aware of that. Okay, so now I will pull some tarot cards. So I'll put these back in the deck. Let me just split them up a bit. And we just see what comes over as well for you. So if, if we get any uh, information here about your uh, work, your own situation or anything like that, we'll just have a look. Or does... Um, what I've been talking about, does this really want to come through? Because this is a very strong message for some of you, Leo, that um, 
just to be careful of your actions in some way, whatever way you're doing something. Maybe you're doing something out of uh, you're feeling uh, some sort of lack of lack of freedom or in some way, or it's hard to get out of uh, a routine you used to be in. So it's hard to get into a new routine in some way. Right, let's have a look. I mean, we also have to look at that question as well. Sometimes when we're with someone, if it is this sort of thing going on, I mean, I always say, if you're happy and content in a relationship, you know, you wouldn't mess about or anything like that. So maybe there's something there, as I say, with that uh hidden motives what's underneath it all is it, are you really happy do you really love the person you're with um it's you know all these questions that come up so you know if you are playing away from home there's a reason why you know because usually we don't do that for absolutely no reason but you need to be as i say you can't have your cake and eat it so i don't know why but <laughs> but in the respect i'm not condoning them um, adultery or fidelity in any way but it's like you know be straight and be honest with yourself you know sometimes you, you know you can't have it always you know and this as i say this energy can be vice versa this could be the person that you're with or you're dealing with so um just take that on board Leo. okay so let's see what cards we have what do we have for leo from the universal deck before I pull the cards, I just want to mention as well, um, these cards are made of, you know, numbers as well. So we've got numbers on a number seven in uh, Chiron's uh, method of uh, numerology and uh, numbers. He, the seven represents uh, Neptune and also the life path seven and the number if you're a number seven. So for some of you, if you was born on the 7th of August, the 7th of uh, the 16th of August or the 25th of July, then uh, maybe this re this reading will resonate with you a little bit more. You know, that would be for some of you. So it's just something to consider there. So, okay, let me just cut the cards. I don't know if I just cut them, but I'm going to cut them again if I didn't. Yeah, so something is about to come to an end. Um there's a change so there's some sort of change coming in uh, coming in for you some sort of ending this is something um that you need to leave behind it could be your um it could in a sense not you you know it could be someone around you maybe some sort of change in their way of thinking uh in their way of uh doing things so some sort of change needs to come in here with the death card some sort of transformation uh this also explains that you're not the person you used to be or you don't want to be the person you used to be if we're looking at um toxic or unhealthy behaviors in the past so this is about transforming yourself so change you know you need to change or somebody needs to change here leo okay and with that card, yeah, we have the Five of Swords. So we've had a lot of sword energy. Swords are very challenging cards, um, especially with the mind. You know, it's uh, feeling uh, defeated in a situation or somebody walking away. Somebody, sorry, somebody getting one over on you in some way or they, you know, vice versa. So just be very cautious because I pulled that on this first section here with this I see card. So it's like I see what you're doing. I understand. I feel what you're doing. You know, you towards them or them towards you, you know, whatever way it is for you, Leo. OK, so just be um, just be careful. And uh, if there is something going on you know, and, and you're the victim here, you know, you're the one that's uh, suffering from this, then confront it with that Queen of Swords, you know, sort of, uh, you're seeing things anyway, somebody is seeing things a lot clearly with that Queen of Swords, so you need to confront and sort of uh, 
get it out in the open. So what do we have for the uh, well card? Yeah, so it's come up again. So we've got this five of cups. I've just shuffled and cut the cards. So somebody's going to feel quite, um, they're going to feel, somebody's going to have some regrets in some way. So someone's going to be sorry for what they've done. So this is a heads up for, you know, for you, Leo, about somebody else or even yourself. So just be careful that you don't regret something, you know, by making, uh, you know, just for, as I say, um, I mean, if it is infidelity, for example, you know, just for the sake of, uh, a, a, you know, a, a good session, say, you know, don't, don't spoil something that's a lot bigger. But of course, in a relationship, if, if you're not in love with that person or you're not happy with that person, then it's understandable. But you have to be truthful. You know, don't um, be be in a relationship where you're not really feeling it. So you need to be open and honest about something because uh, and you need to concentrate as well. If this is happening to you, Leo, somebody's done something to you, you know, don't dwell on it too much. Don't dwell on what's happened in the past. Leave the past behind with that death card and uh, look at what's what you have left. You know, it could be your children, your grandchildren. It could be uh, your friends in your life, you know, and people around you that really do care about you. So um, don't ignore the attention as well with this card. Don't ignore the attention that people the people that are there for you and are willing to, to show you and give you that love. Don't waste your time on emotions that are not giving to you, you know. Yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty heavy message there. Yes, we do definitely have change here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. And it's funny, this is also the Sagittarian card, the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, you could have a Sagittarius around you, uh, Leo. Uh, you could be dealing with a um, Sagittarius in some way, but it's also changed. So things are going to start turning. So whether they're going to turn in your favour or against you, I, you know, I don't know. This depends on you and it depends on what you do about your situation. But uh, when it's upright, the will, it's usually a change for the better. You know, things are starting to move in your direction. You know, it's about following your path, your destiny. And um, yeah sort of the wheel of fate that's what they say the wheel of fate right let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck oh lovely so we've got this lovely empress energy uh libra and um taurus energy here also venus remember I was talking about venus so this is about this is a lovely card for creativity growth and stuff like that so don't uh as i was say don't um don't spoil whatever's happening. Don't spoil a good thing because when you're in this energy, you know what I mean? It's really abundant energy. It really is. It's growth, you know, something that, that can grow. Uh, sometimes things take time to grow as well. But this is somebody who's very nurturing, very caring. I feel this is you, Leo. You're very nurturing. You know, you're a very caring person. You're very passionate and you're very... Uh, you know, you really do uh, can take to people, especially, you know, whether it's friends, you know, work colleagues or that, you know, when you really like someone, you like someone. And um, yeah, it's like, don't spoil a good thing here. So I'm just giving you an heads up there, Leo. Okay. So we do have the Hierophant, some sort of commitment. It can be commitment. Uh, it could be um, following following you know like family traditions whether uh something that um see this is something as well when i see the hierophant with the, with this empress it's something that is um it's a like it's like your values you know you know what do you value what are your values uh are you following family values um and the person you're dealing with, we've got to look at this as well the other way around. You know, do they, do they value you? Do they want commitment? Um, are they worth investing in? You know, it's really that sort of uh, energy here I'm picking up. The world card under that. 
and of course we have the uh so something needs to end something needs to be uh something needs to be closed out in some way so as i as i said you know this is just something that's sort of in my mind you know if something's not working out we, if we need to end something, if something's come to an end, you know, this is an end of a cycle, but it's usually a positive cycle. So if something has to end in some way, especially in your relationship, uh, you know, you want to leave on good terms. You want to be open. You want to be honest. And uh, you don't want to leave that sort of connection with uh, any bad blood or bad feelings. So it's about making a, a positive, you know, like closure. You know, if you want closure on something there in an area of your life, it's about making positive closure there because then you can start a new beginning. And of course, we have the again, the Knight of uh, Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So something is about to change and it's I think it's going to change pretty quickly because it's very um, fast moving energy. So don't be too hasty as well, you know, especially if you're not um, if you're not sure about something, don't be too hasty to jump to something. But I do feel for some of you that uh, you've got a feeling or somebody around you has got a feeling um, that something's not right, you know, and they want to expose. They want to seek the truth, as that Neptune card says there, they want to seek seek the truth in a, a situation somewhere okay all right leo oh well, there you are the next card out was the sun so we do have a positive depending on how you go about things you know you've got to and i know you will you know i know that you go about things very uh you know you don't like to uh have bad feelings and stuff like that towards people so i do feel this energy here of um of bringing something that's going to make not just the person feel better but you feel better as well so you know let's get something out in the open and we'll all feel a lot better for it a lot happier for it once something's revealed you know whatever that is for you leo okay yes i'll end that there uh for you leo um sorry i couldn't be uh it is positive it depends on you you know i'm sorry i didn't pull out all these you know because it's not all flossy and um uh, roses all the time you know people come to these readings because they are in a situation they um are seeking some sort of guidance but it's always you've got your own free will leo it's always up to you what you do and you do what makes you happy you know whatever it is for you you just do what makes you happy okay leo so i leave that there with you for now and as I say, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I do thank you for watching me. And I'll be back very soon with your October reading. So uh, do take care of yourself. And uh, I hope you sort whatever you're going through. I hope you sort everything out. And as I say, blessings of God bless to you, Leo. See you soon. Bye.